Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three Freeman runs in the amateur bantamweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing GB Top Team, Katim Perkins. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Frontline Muay Thai, Hafrim Thaki. Wearing like blue, mostly blue shorts. Facing off against Afram Thackeray from Frontline Muay Thai in the Bantamweight Division. Three three minute rounds, some good experience on this. Thackeray six and three, Kadeem Perkins four and two. Our most experienced fighters of the night so far, and Thackeray's wasted no time at all in pressing Perkins up against the cage, Nick. Yeah, he's doing a good job of keeping that head under the chin. Perkins got that deep wizard, trying to elevate him up. Perkins' advantage is he's sitting right in his corner with Brad Pickett. Uh, nicely, pleasantly advising him <laughs> on ways in which he should be defending this takedown. And defending it, he is so far. Afram's nice and deep on the single leg and I really like his head placement. It's forcing Perkins to not be able to get a good solid base underneath him and start to dead leg out or cross face. Great balance there from Perkins. Yeah, Thaki needed a look to switch to a double right there. He had that single leg lift, had pulled him away. If he would have switched to that double, he could have got a dump. Perkins defending this nicely so far. We see a foot stomp, I love a foot stomp. And again, Perkins is doing everything that his corner is telling him to do. He's staying heavy, he's not rushing anything. It's just Thackey's head placement makes it really difficult for Perkins to be able to get out of this position. Tries a throw there, Perkins doesn't come off for him. And now this will be a little bit easier for Perkins. Perkins has now got more of a belly to belly. And again, Thackey just puts his head right up underneath the chin. And so immediately seen enough, he separates them. So that was about two minutes, 20 seconds of an attempt to take down from Thackey. And now Perkins is wasting no time in going to work with the hands. Nice fast hands here from Perkins. Range of shots he's throwing. And Thaki's doing a good job of shoulder rolling in. He's got that boxer stance. And again in on a shot. Nice work again though from Perkins to stuff it. Land some shots of his own. He certainly did. Let's see what happens in this second round as you say. In the corner, MMA legend Brad Pickett advising Kadeem Perkins, so not many better people you can have in your corner as we get ready for the second round here. Three possible three minute rounds. Cage Royce Academy. Oh, nice. Nice leg kicks there from Perkins. Too. I know, I told him don't throw leg kicks, but well, he can keep throwing them because those were oh. good. Like he just off balance there as he tries to return fire. I think most people have listened to you tonight so far, Nick, so the old person doesn't, it's their lookout. They're working though, those leg kicks. Ooh. Now they're exchanging kicks. And Thaki hasn't taken a single shot yet this round. Now uh, comes the closing of the distance. His hands clasped round him right in front of us here. Now Perkins is going to look to swim that arm through, try to get over under. With Thackey in this body lock, what he's going to want to do is sweep it all the way back to his hips, then bring his hips in, lift and turn off the cage, and he's going to want to go over like his left leg. 
Perkins got to look to get head control. Square up. Even if it's just a cross face turn at this point. Because again, Thacky's putting his forehead right up underneath Perkins' chin. And he did do the throw that I said he should try to do. Twice in the second time he went to the well, he was able to get it. So Perkins bounced up the first time, but now he didn't. He's on the bottom now. And that was just it. Off of that body lock, you get those hips in, and you're able to turn it off the leg. If he did that because I said it, it's not my fault. They were right up against <laughs> the cage. I was trying to be quiet when I was saying it. The voice of the coach, Nick Albert. Happy to have you with us here on this Saturday night here in Colchester. And now Perkins is doing a good job because he's not really putting himself into any bad position. And if you notice, he walked straight to the cage. And now Thaki. But it's going to be hard for Thaki to finish this because Perkins was smart enough to get them backed up to the cage. Thaki's going to have to work to push his back actually up off of the cage so that he can lean back. Looking to just crank on the head. Twist the jaw. And here he's going to have to look to move to mount. And he's got Mount, he's high. But Perkins doing a good job of constantly moving. Thacky reached up like he knew he could throw an elbow there, but it's amateur MMA, so he can't. But still, he's got that lockdown on the head. Kadeem Perkins then, what's he gonna do in this third round? He can change the story so far. Against Afrim Thaki. I that guy's coming out fast. I like Perkins' hand speed. He's really quick, isn't he? Ball of energy. Now Ooh. he's looking for the takedown, Nick. That was a great shot, too, in deep, but Thaki with the defense. Now, again, what I, I said, I'd love to see Perkins start framing off that head. He's got that ability, he's got the strength. Kept Just like knee. that. I, things like this mix it up, force Thaki's head to be able to move. Great job there by Perkins. Thacky's going to have to look, move from that single to that body lock. Perkins is blocking it. And then Thacky's going to want to just drop back up over that leg again. The only way, though, that it's really effective is if Thacky can get his hips in deep as he goes to turn. He keeps on grinding. It's been a tough, grueling, grinding sort of fight so far. Yeah, and Perkins, he's doing a good job, though, of not giving up that takedown. Far too often we see guys in this position after this much time, they end up just hitting the mat. He's doing a really good job of keeping wide bases, changing things up, using that strong wizard. And again, Thacky able to turn him up against the cage. These guys are seriously well matched though, aren't they? Always fighting each other to a standstill. It, it's like, not only the grappling, but the striking and the hand speed. Both yeah. of these guys have real quick hands. Really well matched fight from Jack Mason. Oh, slip there from Perkins and that could prove crucial. As Thacky ends up on top with 45 seconds left. to improve his position. And looking to trap that arm and that crucifix. Perkins doing the right thing though, turning into him. Eating some shots for his trouble. Now the big thing is he doesn't want to let any of those hooks in this time. Oh, now they both got in and we're away from the cage. Got the body lock. Looking to get that arm under the chin. He's not got long to work. Yeah, but he's trying to go Gable on it. 10 seconds for Perkins to hold on. Perkins hand fighting. Looks like he's going to survive. He's going to be okay. The time's going to run out. Really well matched fight. And it was fun to watch because both guys back and forth definitely showed. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. 
who scored about 30, 27, 29, 28, and 30, 27. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Afrim. Thank